Hey, what's going on, great people, CEO family? Welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am the Startup CEO. Today, you are tuned in to Food by Michelle. If this is your first time here, don't let it be your last. Make sure you click the subscribe button up there, like and comment below, and tell me what you think. Today, we are having a turmeric, avocado, and spinach smoothie. Mmm, I know it sounds kind of disgusting, especially if you're not on that health kick, but listen, your health is your wealth. And if you get that together, everything else will fall in line. Stay tuned. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. So this is where we're starting. I have a handful of yummy spinach. I have some turmeric here. And turmeric has so many amazing benefits for your health. I can't even go through all of them. You can uh, Google it to get a little bit more. But as you can see right there, turmeric may have health benefits numerous to list. Too numerous to list. From helping to relieve joint pain to beautifying the skin. I've also heard of people putting turmeric on their face as a cleanser. I'm working towards that next to see how it works. But I'm like, it's orange. <laughs> Will my face be orange? I'm not worried about if it's in my body because I can't see that, but on my face. But we'll see. I'm going to try that. Um, as well as an avocado. I love avocado, you guys. I can eat this thing whole by itself with nothing else, just the avocado. A lot of people are like, I don't like it. It's too squishy. It's green and all that kind of stuff. Look, green is good for you. I like everything green from my food to my money. That's what I like, green. And this avocado is so delicious. I typically put it in, if I'm going to mix it with something, I normally add uh, tomatoes and red onions with some dressing and it is, or some olive oil, and it is absolutely delicious. And of course, spinach, you know, Papa used to eat that all the time and he liked it and it made him strong. So spinach is good for you too. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to make sure you got some ice in there. Depending on the consistency that you like of your smoothie, that's how much ice I have in there. And then you want to have a little chill to it. So the more ice, uh, the consistency level will maintain itself. So some of my friends have never eaten an avocado. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like in um, sliced open. This is the little... Um, I don't know what that is. It looks like a nut or whatever it is, a seed, big seed or whatever. It's not supposed to be there. However, I have read that that may be very healthy for you, but I have not began to uh, figure out or digest it or put it in a smoothie or something along those lines. I'm not ready for that level yet. But the avocado is a fruit and it is simply delicious. It, it kind of, to be honest with you, is flavorless, but it has a distinctive taste that is still very good and as you can see it's starting to brown there that's one thing that you literally don't want to happen you want to try to eat the avocado when it is in its ripest state and from my understanding if you can squeeze down on it if it's hard it's not ripe yet but if you can squeeze squeeze down on it and you get some type of uh, softness in it then it, it is ready to be consumed also the color begins to darken and becomes i don't know if that's um it's a darker green color and then it is ready to eat. If it's still light green, kind of like the outer parts of the avocado there, then it's not ready to consume. So that is just a little lesson about avocado. And as I mentioned, it is simply delicious. And I eat it with a lot of Mexican food. I eat it with egg. It's just so many things that you can use avocado for. And it is healthy for you. And it is a fruit. So you can't go wrong. So as you can see, I've cleaned the avocado out. And I find it works better with a spoon when you're getting the avocado out of the shell and i got another recipe that i'm going to share with you guys called avocado boats and i'm telling you they're absolutely delicious as well but we're going to stick to this smoothie today okay <laughs> look i'll be all over the place but anyway i have the smooth uh the avocado in there as well as the ice and then i'm going to put my um spinach in here as well let me get my cutting board out of the way i'm going to put the spinach in here as well the handful of spinach and of course you can add milk 
um, avocado milk, coconut milk, water. I wouldn't suggest necessarily water. I would suggest perhaps maybe, um, you know, coconut water or something along those lines. Because if you put water in there, it's kind of a really weird taste. So I stick with milk or coconut milk and almond milk. Those are the things that I find that works. So I forgot to mention my yogurt and I add yogurt for the simple reason of consistency as well. And I found this delicious Greek yogurt at Aldi and it is simply yummy. And I'm gonna put in, um, let's see, I'm gonna put in just a, a tablespoon. That seems like a lot, but it's not. A tablespoon of the Greek yogurt. And it has a honey in there too. So if you think you're gonna get a little nasty taste, you're gonna have that extra honey to kind of make it taste a little sweet. And then I have my coconut milk here that I'm getting ready to. I love coconut milk too. I love anything coconut, but coconut milk is great with cereal. It's also great by itself. So I poured that in. I didn't pour too much in because the yogurt and the ice will kind of give it a little bit more uh, liquidy uh, effect. So let's go ahead and start blending this yummy breakfast smoothie. So I've added the turmeric in as well as a little protein powder. Um, if you have protein powder, you can add some as well. I add it to most of my smoothies and it just really adds an aids in the health benefit of drinking your vegetables, eating your fruit, and having that protein powder as an extra kick. <laughs> So one thing I will tell you is that by adding avocado, what I've noticed is that it is always extra thick, always. No matter how much coconut milk or any type of milk or ice I put in there, the avocado makes it very thick. And you know I like to add my straw in. So let's see how this avocado, turmeric and spinach smoothie tastes. I taste the avocado, I taste the spinach, and I definitely taste the turmeric. I think this is a great go-to breakfast item. And I'm this is like my third time making this. Each time I make it, I do something different. Last time I added banana and it was really yummy. I think I should have added the banana to this as well because it's kind of, if you like sweet stuff like I do, then you want as much sweetness as you can get. But if sweetness is not important to you and it's not going to deter you from drinking it, then um, you can go without the banana. But a banana, again, another fruit just adds a little sweetness to it and the potassium that you need from the banana. But overall, uh, from a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this smoothie an 8. Uh, reason being is because it has all the things that I need in here for a healthy life, like the antioxidant of the turmeric, the spinach, and then of course the fruit of the avocado green smoothie with that punk punch of power uh, from the turmeric are really a great combination for a healthy breakfast item. And if I'm going to work on, you know, sometimes throughout the day, I don't necessarily eat a lot. I should, but I don't. But a smoothie of this magnitude typically lasts me, especially if I add the protein power powder, it typically deters my hunger for anywhere from two to three hours. And when you are trying to keep your weight under control, it's a great alternative. Um, check with your doctor first because everybody has different dietary means depending on their health. But for me and mine, uh, it works pretty good. I'm typically not hungry for about two to three hours. And if I do get hungry, I just snack on some nuts or something along those lines and it really aids in supplement or some um, dried fruit chips or anything of that sort. So your health is your wealth. I'm toasting to you today. Make it a great blessed day. Again, if you are not uh, a part of my community, I would love for you to be a part. Go ahead and click that subscribe button up there and then make sure you like and comment and let me know, do you like avocado? Do you like smoothies? Uh, what do you like in your smoothies? I would love to hear from you. Blessings and peace. Make it a great day. Bye-bye.